Hey, what's up guys? I'm um, just making a video um, about depersonalization again. Um, so I've been reading some more books um, and like articles online. And I'm reading this one book about like codependence. And it's talking about like emotions and like emotional abuse and how a lot of us, pretty much almost all of us are raised either in a family or a society that doesn't handle emotions correctly and what I mean by that is um, people are taught to repress and suppress emotions and not not want to feel sad or feel angry or any of these like negative emotions people are kind of raised to at least I have um, been raised to not want them and so the, the book and articles talk about how these aren't really negative emotions they're totally they're not I mean they're not good they're not bad they're just emotions that are they happen and they're real and so relating this to depersonalization, which is basically our, our brains like numbing ourselves because we've had so much pain and pain and trauma um, and other little combinations of things on top of that that kind of add to it like obsessive thinking or um, just tendencies towards like isolating ourselves or stuff like that. Um, but basically we have to feel those emotions and I've kind of talked about this before I've definitely talked about this before but uh, in terms of processing processing our emotions and processing our traumas and past experiences um, and Basically, it's giving ourselves a grieving period. And what that means is that we allow ourselves to feel hurt, to allow ourselves to feel the pain that has been caused to us and not judging that pain and not judging that we have these, just allowing them. And what that does is allows an emotional or not emotional, and energy in which the emotions are stored in our body to release themselves. And that's how, that's pretty much how I feel we relieve our symptoms of, of DP. And um, I've had moments where I, um, I've had a lot of time processing like traumas and thinking about things and writing stuff down and I feel really good like I feel like I'm almost fully back but then I go through another thing and the trauma just builds and the stress just builds and it kind of puts puts me right back into a pretty deep uh, depersonalized state and so I think that at the end of the day we can't and I, I'm i sure that a lot of you agree with this you can't think yourself out of it you have to feel yourself out of DP and you have to you have to act in the world you have to go and experience new things and you have to keep living your life um, and that helps you while you are trying to heal and process past the traumas and Basically, it's we just gotta allow ourselves to feel sucky. <laughs> we gotta cry it out, and we have to feel like we've been left out to dry and left alone and neglected because probably most of us have. If you're watching this, you probably have been neglected or like felt abandonment or just have some sort of dysfunction and. Um, abuse that's happened to you growing up and so to get to this point where you're in depersonalization and derealization uh, 
it's basically just your brain's like, okay, like I'm gonna I'm gonna shut things down for you so you can deal with this. And once you start dealing with them, and once you start um, processing things, then your brain allows you to get back into a state where you can not only think about yourself, but think about others, and um, really feel like you're alive again. <laughs> and I have moments where I go back to feeling really good, and then I'll feel really depersonalized, and it's basically just like kind of like a not like a cycle, but it's it's an opportunity for me to learn what makes it worse, what makes it better, and allowing myself to feel depersonalized and still go out there and do things and still come out here and go on a run or eat really healthy um, and just... Basically, we got to learn to cope while we can heal. And there's like a saying, like, fake it till you make it. I hate that. Because that just kind of reminds me of not allowing yourself to feel how you really feel. If you're feeling depersonalized, there's a reason for it. Don't act like you're not. Like, sure, go out and do things and don't allow it to control you, but don't act like it's there for nothing. Like, we have... We, it's, we're going through this stuff to learn. We're going through this stuff to learn. And to say fake it till you make it, I feel like we never need to fake it. We just need to, we don't, we just need to be real. <laughs> like we don't need to fake anything. And I, I don't know. That's, I guess that's all I wanted to say for now. Um, it's like a seven minute video, dang. Um, yeah, I hope this helped. Um, I like to talk about this stuff. Uh, for me, too, helps me. This is kind of like writing. Uh, it helps me go through my thoughts. And, I mean, if, if you're going through the same thing, I would say that you make some videos, too. Um, for sure, like, write and make videos or just express yourself. And yeah, all right, later.